right so so when you talking about a base course to to kitna tum worst case what what a base score basically means is what is the worst case score in each of these section right so uh, the the bottom line of course i mean you could be you could be in the 10s to 20s in varc the base score could be maybe uh, 10 to 15 let's say 10 plus base score 20 plus base score so your worst case score no matter how how difficult the paper is kitna to mere ko aa jayega what is that number so just wanted to get a get a uh, indication from you guys if you are in the 10 plus level or just below 10 you'll mark you'll put a b c d or e so which is your base score out of these five uh, can i can i get to hear this so Okay, you you could be varying between A and B kind of thing also. So there's a lot of lot of A's here. There are a lot of B's here. Uh, Rohit is at a D, and uh, there's some C's also. For example, uh, Ishika and uh, uh, and some people have told me uh, this this in all the three areas, right? so so let, let's focus on on it one one at a go one time at a go so if you are uh, at a in this category verbal ability reading comprehension let's let's try to focus on our on the work we need to do uh, area wise the section wise so uh, so essentially the 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 process uh, is essentially to move or or your objective is to move your base score up to to the next level that's the first part of your of your preparation or that's 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 the that's the process of preparation in every area essentially so whichever area you're looking at the the process the preparation objective is to actually move your base score up uh, to your to your next area to to the next level right so i'm just uh, trying to clean up my board here Just give me a second yeah theek hai to uh, to coming back uh, whatever strategies you have implement then whatever strategies you implement then will have to be uh, about 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 taking your course to the next level right and of course scores are only influenced by attempts and corrects so when you uh, 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 when you want to increase your scores there are two parameters for this either you increase your attempts or you increase your percentage corrects these are two two methods or two basic common sensical methods of how your score will improve right so so you need to evaluate whatever your level is if you belong to the a category getting 10 plus only i'm talking about verbal right now and we'll separately talk about di and quants uh, uh, in in this session so we'll divide the session into three parts if you belong to the b category 20 plus currently in verbal you belong to the c category 30 plus in verbal and of course you have to understand uh, i mean what what your target is let's say you're getting 10 plus in verbal and your target is to get to 30 plus because your overall target the overall target is to get to 100 uh, to get a 99 percentile and in that your vrc contribution you need to be 30 you need it to be 30 because your dilr contribution 
is going to be 25 and your quants contribution is going to be 45 so this this is how how you actually slot in key what is your target in in vrc so it has to come from the larger target of your overall score it has to come from your larger from the larger target of your overall score what overall score you are targeting and uh, to get there what do you need in vrc right so ye, ek, i mean this can this will be kind of pattern some other people might have ki vrc mere ko 40 plus lana padega agar mere ko 100 chahiye to what what is your aspirational target in vrc are you trying to get to 40 plus so so the, the basic challenge will be then where you are to where you want to be that that jump and how do you get it right so so the underlying change uh, when you're talking about 10 plus to 30 plus the underlying change is uh, it it depends the underlying change will have two formulas one one formula will be how many more questions can you attempt correctly how many more questions can you attempt which go correct how many more questions that you attempt which go correct that's one and the second is how many errors can you overturn so when you when you're talking about both these when you're talking about bo both these uh, both these issues uh, doing more questions to attempt will obviously mean that you in the same time you are you need to speed up with respect to how many questions you are attempting and overturning errors basically means to identify the source of the errors the reason for the errors and, and avoid avoid them that was what uh, uh, overturning errors means find the reason to to do the errors and avoid them so in in verbal ability reading competence you have to see uh key i mean let's say uh uh, if you are and 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 which of these should be a priority will depend on what your current uh, numbers are so for example uh, if my current numbers are in this range uh, let's say where percentage corrects is 60 percent so percent percentage correct will depend karega ki which of these will be a priority so if a percentage correct is 60 percent 50 percent 70 up to 70 percent if your percentage correct is up to 70 percent that means you're attempting uh, let's say 16 questions and getting 11 right so in this situation i think the best method of course 16 correct 11 right you will be getting high 20s close to 30 also in that case so to agar tumhare ye target hai you already getting getting a high b or a low c and want to get to 40 plus then uh, the, the priority first will be to maybe get to around 75 80 80 80 percent correct is is a possibility 80 percent plus correct has to be uh, the, le the level of accuracy in verbal ability and reading comprehension otherwise you, you can never get to a high score so you will have to look at uh, i mean and and then you have to start looking at the reasons for the errors. so when you when you start sourcing this reasons for the errors in verbal ability and reading comprehension one one uh, source of the uh, error issue would be not understanding the text the inability to understand the text so if that is the problem you need to address it you need to you need to address it and the second problem that might happen how do you address it i'll just come to that the second uh, reason why your uh, accuracy might be low could be you are you are misreading questions you are mis you are understanding the text but you are misreading questions misunderstanding questions misreading misunderstanding the questions or you are making uh, you are you are misreading options Uh, if if the problem is here if the problem is here it's got a shorter solution the solution is that you start identifying why you're doing this you start for example uh, kind of errors that you have let's say there's a question which says uh, 
uh, the author has used this example because why has the author used this example so the answer has to be a because answer the answer cannot be something else right uh, the answer the answer cannot cannot be cannot be something else like for example if you if you say that why why uh, uh, did the government uh, facil felicitate uh, neeraj chopra right and the answer if you are trying to give an answer for that is because of the fact that uh, the answer is obviously because we won the olympic gold but if you are answering it as uh, because the indian athletics has been has been largely uh, 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 the underdog uh, uh, sport and uh, not been uh, uh, not been uh, given the spotlight in the past that is the reason for it so then what is happening is you are maybe you are you are saying something which is right but it is not the reason for the question it is not the, the the because for the answer so you have to try to check whether it's this or that and of course if it's about not understanding the text you will have to do uh, short term work to 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 improve your understanding of the text you will have to work on uh, on short term uh, short term work for uh, improving your understanding of the text what is the short term work what is the short term work you can do so what happens when you go into uh, into the kind of passages cat gives you uh, three things happen that raise the difficulty level of the passage or the paragraph first is the sentences become long in cat you will find 50 60 70 words sentences whereas your normal reading is about 10 15 word sentences so average sentence length in in pass in paragraph or passages in the cat will will uh, sometimes be even uh, 75 80 words 50 50 words is a very common average length of sentence and if you are used to reading only 10 15 word sentences then you are not used to taking in in sentences where where uh, things flip flip over many times over so this is one part of it long sentences the second uh, reason why this uh, might might happen uh, the first is long long sentences the second reason why this might happen uh, or or second reason why difficulty level increases is uh, uh, you you get unfamiliar topics where the topics are, are not so so easy for you to understand and the third uh, is the third the third area a uh, third reason why uh, difficulty level of a passage goes up is because the language is complex so in case you have a problem understanding the the text then you you so you solve this i'm not taking any charts right now i'll i'll look at your charts a little bit later because if i start doing that my my flow of thought goes goes haywire so in case uh, you you have a problem in understanding the passage which is why you're getting only 60% or 70% and first in in verbal uh, if you can sort out your your rc if you can uh, sort out sort out your rc you can easily get 20 solid attempts in you can easily get 20 solid attempts in and uh, i i think uh, the the very difficult parajumble questions there are two levels of parajumble question one is the the simple ones the simple level uh, par parajumble parajumble questions etc and the other ones are the very twisted ones which are difficult to identify ki kya karna hai isme so if you look at uh, some of the past cat questions you will see that some parajumble questions are unsolvable whereas others are very simple or much much more doable or solvable so even if you get to a 50% hit rate in parajumbles ki okay 50 60% hit rate in parajumbles that's good enough but but the the crux of uh, of verbal ability reading competition is rc because you know that 75% of the of the questions are from rc uh, 18 out of 26 or 24 out of out of uh, 34 is close to close to 75% and uh, 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 the, the other part is of course uh, uh, so 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 the what is the short term work you can do in a 100 day context the answer to that is basically Uh, what i call as idea mapping so what what you need to do is uh, when uh, i'll just explain this concept to you uh, through an example 
uh, suppose i ask you to uh, to write an essay on your uh, on your favorite pet or your favorite uh, yeah, yeah i write you and uh, i write i asked you to write an essay on your favorite pet you write the essay to me and i said write it into 50 words so before you write it uh, what you do what you will do before you start writing it and before you write it is you kind of form form an idea in your mind ki what is it i want to communicate any good good writing is built is built like that so you you try to create an idea in your mind and when i read what what i what uh, what uh, you have written uh, the the purpose or the, the the process of reading involves basically making sure that the idea i see should be equal to the idea i got you you want to give me right and and this is best exemplified also through the example that suppose you have written this essay and uh, you given it to me in a sheet of paper and i lose that sheet of paper and ask you again ki tomorrow i ask you again ki can you write that again so you will write new words the words you will write will not be the same as the previous day's words but the idea will con- convey will be same so so reading good reading basically means uh, copying of this idea or, or structuring this idea in, into your mind so uh, so so that's that's an important component of what you need to do so suppose somebody is talking about the world economy and he says that i want to give three points on the, about the world economy so in your mind in your idea structure those three points should get opened up and then when you start reading they should start getting filled up right and if he's given an example inside this point you should be able to see that this example was given for the first point etc so this is this is the process of reading so you can actually uh, apply this this thing this process and initially you can even draw this idea and ironically what will happen is if you start looking at how to draw this idea if you can learn to do this idea idea reading and uh, this idea uh, downloading so so to say i i call it an idea photocopy there's an idea in the author's mind and you are as the reader get the same idea right so you got it you got the same idea once you once you get to that point and if you can get to that point and to the to to the skill level where you can do this in one reading that's when your speed also goes up so that's that's the this thing so typically you if you see your uh, your competitors your top competitors uh, if uh, there are i mean 18 questions may four passages hoga so you will see the top competitors will will who are who are doing uh, 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 really high marks in vocabulary reading comprehension they'll be finishing all four passages in 25 to 30 minutes they're not going to leave passages at all all passages done in 25 to 30 minutes 6 to 7 minutes per passage is the time that that the top guys take and uh, if you are uh, at uh, let's say 10 minutes 12 minutes per passage it's mainly because of the fact that you are rereading a lot of stuff and you you generally slower in in uh, picking up what is what is said and also if you are slower you will you will start realizing that there's a lot of things a lot of confusions your mind creates which does not happen if you read it at one go uh, and uh, you 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 control the idea much better that way so so the idea is to to if you are a 12 minute per passage person one of the challenges to raise uh, attempts will be to come down to to us to maybe even if you can't come down to 6 uh, 7 minutes per passage you can come down to 10 minutes per passage also and even that will that will create a so you'll be able to accommodate one extra passage one extra passage means four five attempts and if you are inside passages it's very very easy to get to 80% accuracy right so this is a verbal and rc plan of course it will involve practice so pick up questions pick up uh, pick up uh, uh, various uh, practice exercises pick up 100 rc passages still and solve them etc uh uh to 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 get there <clears throat> so some may says uh, my issue speed i can take only two rc that's because you are reading twice and you also going back and reading again and again when you are reading the questions if you stop doing that your your time will come down to 15 12 13 minutes per rc putting 15 minutes per comprehension uh, uh, currently you will take uh, approximately not sure i'm using this actually i'm on my on uh, this thing 
so to you you'll come down to 12 13 minutes per per uh, per per rc uh, timing right so that's that's the that's the whole challenge theek hai dekho rc mein kya hai na ki i'm i'm using this this machine for the first time actually uh, it's not my machine uh, i'm on a i'm i'm on a actually trip uh, somewhere and i'm not on my on my normal machine so uh, i really don't know how to stop this uh, this uh, cursor on the left side which is writing uh, or which is uh, karthik says uh, can you hide the scale it is distracting i really don't know how it hard works <laughs> i'm not even able to erase this back to a black white screen so so i just downloaded this uh, this whiteboard for for whatever i got uh, this thing okay so so any uh, any any further advice so what you what you can do is you can i mean essentially what happens in an rc passage is that uh, when you when you see uh, a passage think of it as four challenges let's say four paragraph passage you got four challenges challenge one is to map the idea of or extract the idea of this passage that's challenge one challenge 2 map the idea of this passage right so it's paragraph so essentially paragraph mapping is is what you can go back and practice what do you do is you pick up uh, you, what what do you do i call this the 20 tab exercise what do you do is on your uh, on your uh, on your browser now on safari or google or chrome or whatever you using on your browser what do you do is you open 20 different tabs with different articles to read go to tab 1 read the first paragraph map the idea what is the idea there and and you know if you have mapped the idea of the passage or the paragraph you'll be able to narrate the idea yourself that's that's the this thing what is the what is the benchmark to tell yourself that you have mapped it if you have mapped it well you will be able to narrate the idea yourself that's the whole idea that's the whole objective so go to tab 1 read the first paragraph map the idea go to tab 2 put open 20 different tabs open 20 different tabs and keep going from one tab to the next read one paragraph and uh, and let, let let these tabs have different variety of articles etc see because now abhi kya hai na ki this is what i meant by short term work abhi kya hai ki you don't have that much time ki you can read uh, if, if 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 somebody wants to improve his reading uh, over four years i can tell him ki you start reading books and all you you will improve in three four years but right now what we are the challenge is to to get it done in three months in 100 days so we'll only do do work or i'll only suggest work which will pay off in 100 days so start doing this 20 tab exercise and and try to start mapping the idea and then when you go back to the first uh, uh, tab before you go to the second paragraph firstly look at the first paragraph and and remind yourself of what that idea was so do do the 20 tab exercise uh, uh, every day you will you will start realizing that your idea catching is better so idea catching agar better hai ho jata hai to automatically what happens is ye jo problem hai na tumhara first reason first reason for uh, for getting the answers wrong ye reason khatam ho jayega theek hai aur obviously jaise jaise tumhara speed of reading improve kar jayega the number of attempts will also go up and uh, both both uh, will will uh, add to your scores fine so can i move to data interpretation logical reasoning and cons then this won't be time taking i'm just uh, you don't have to write write uh, everything uh, see run of uh, i'm saying that you do the writing initially first 200 times you're doing it first 200 paragraphs you're doing it but later uh, it has to be mental the way you you actually read and uh, and uh, understand is you read something and the idea keeps forming uh, in your mind automatically right so so it's not going to be uh, timeline wise uh, dif different so initially you can do it on paper but ultimately uh, you can do this 
from uh, from uh, uh, i mean ultimately you have to you have to move to uh, to doing it uh, mentally not not doing the mocks uh, shravan uh, doing the mocks i mean you you have to get used to doing this uh, mentally mocks of course you don't start uh, start writing the ideas down but but ultimately mental hona chahiye you should not need to write it so it's like uh, when you when you learn to walk you need somebody to catch catch your uh, catch your hand so if you if you need to write that means somebody is catching your hand about it but gradually you don't walk walk with somebody catching your hand for the whole for your whole life so to be able to move to be independent of that right the articles can be any areas uh, 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 any 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 areas that you pick up uh, it can be um, philosophy it can be geography it can be history it can be any kind of of articles you can you can uh, read articles from uh, economist uh, time you can read articles from uh, eon dot eon is a great great source and uh, guardian is a great source what you can just make sure that you reading analytical articles right uh, yeah so people do crack it in 100 days also bharat so chalo uh, uh, kartik is asking will this recording be available on youtube yes it will be we will we'll upload it by tonight and target is 100 per percent and 90 percent i'll give a strategy 60 marks ka rahega right okay chalo fir let's move on to on to our data integration logical reasoning part and also uh, your points part so of course uh, it goes without saying uh, that for di and lr uh, for data and prediction and lr when you take your mock mock test you might be belonging to number of sets solved i mean in di lr instead of going for the score we can we can try to see how many sets you are able to finish in a normal 40 to 40 minute period so number of sets solved 0 to 1 1 to 2 to 3 or 3 plus this is a b c d for us so where do you belong you can just tell me that so that i can and shift my emphasis according to this so there are some c here two to three sets you are able to solve and some people are, are b here a lot of a is also theek hai so the first measurement you do uh, of course this is your target again you you correlate it to your your overall target if you have got an overall target of of 90 percentile if you have an overall target of 90 plus percentile you are looking at scoring 60 marks you are looking at scoring 60 marks if you have a target of uh, of uh, of uh, and and that 60 marks you'll have to split between the three areas quants dilr and verbal if you have a target of 99 percentile you your overall score has to be 100 marks out of 228 so that will comprise three numbers which will give you the quants dilr and verbal uh, uh, verbal score that that you are targeting if you are targeting 99.7 plus percentile you need to score 120 marks 120 plus marks and that has to have a breakdown between three numbers again so so essentially what what you want to do inside a section has to has to basically come out of this this number right and uh, so so it might be you you are you might be in a situation where you are here and you want to jump two levels up to get to here 
right so the first thing uh, you you need to uh, look at if this is the number of sets solved you have to try to see that if you remove the time limit if you remove the time limit what is the number of sets known so for example if somebody is at 0 to 1 solved in 40 minutes most likely this person's number of sets known will also be low it might just be one or two Whereas somebody who's solving three sets or three plus sets, uh, I think most of the time that my experience tells me that you you stop at three sets or three and a half sets, not because you don't know the other sets, but because the time is running out. So you have to most likely the knowledge would be four plus. Right? So the challenge uh, uh, for for the lower end people. The challenge will be to to ensure, of course, as if you host a you you know you know only two three sets and you solve those. Who rare or that, but uh, let's let's say that's a possibility. So we'll just uh, explore what should be your strategy according to uh, what you do, according to which one of this, uh, according to each one of this, what should be your strategy, uh, etc. So of course, this if your if your number of sets known is anywhere up to three. That means you need more self problem solving. Now, now you, you need more exposure to questions. It's plain and simple. There's, there is no, no, no doubt about this. You need more ex exposure to questions. If it is up to three. So, so you should go ahead. If, if that is the case, you should go ahead and and look at the 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 chunk that improves your DI or your LR. It has to be you have to think in 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 terms of 50 sets added. For each of them, you add 50 sets for DI. Anybody adds 50 sets for DI, anybody adds 50 sets for LR, he or she, if he is learning out of those sets, there is actually no way that your that your score will remain stagnant after that. And your your challenges will go up. Now, now the other part of this is when you are doing these additional sets, do you need do you want to do this under assisted problem solving? Do you want to do this under assisted problem solving? Or do you want to do it under self problem solving? So please remember one thing that the turnaround will only happen if you are able to convert these sets to your own problem solving processes. This is what ensures turnaround of your beliefs as well as your abilities. But for a lot of people, they are not able to do it on their own. So, so in that case, especially in 100 uh, day, day case, under day situation, maybe you can you can uh, look at something what I call as semi assisted problem solving. That means you pick up a question. You pick up a question whose video whose video you have or whose solution you have. Don't watch the solution. Try it yourself first. And after that, try to identify the key points at which you're getting stuck. I mean, in a DILR set, the the the, the gist is that solution solutions are 10 to 10, 12 steps long. And in DI, the gist is to able the ability to understand the variables. In LR, the, the gist is to the ability to understand and use the clues. So, so it's it's about 10 to 12 steps. And what I have seen is that people who are not able to, to solve a question or not able to cross over into, into territory of, of, of the question becoming green, that means you're able to solve the question. They are stuck maybe, maybe at a couple of steps in the question. Step step when you do semi-assisted problem solving, as against uh, uh, as completely assisted, completely assisted problem solving, it's like watching a movie. A popcorn ka dabba le lo aur ke video dekh lo. Kisi ne video ko solve kiya hua hai, kuch kuch cheez ko to usko baat ke dekh lo. Wo assisted problem solving ho gaya. 
वो प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व इनफैक्ट हुआ ही नहीं बिकॉज तुम तुम तो पॉपकॉर्न खाते हुए पिक्चर देख रहे हो डोंट डू दैट लुक एट ट्राई द क्वेश्चन आइडेंटिफाई वेर यू गेटिंग स्टक आइडेंटिफाई ओके आई कुड डू दीज टू स्टेप्स एंड दिस इज वेर आई गॉट स्टक and then i could do the next three steps and then i was getting stuck again here right so so you do this kind of uh, solving you will start realizing that that uh, as you smoothen these these uh, these uh, hurdles out as you smoothen these hurdles out you will start realizing that you get much more in control of the questions that you are doing and you will start seeing that when you go to yourself problem solving you start getting more control over it right or nahi aa raha control self problem solving mein to aur ja ke aur add karo us pe but typically 50 se 100 set se zyada assisted problem solving karke koi fayda nahi hone wala utte mein nahi sikhoge to kuch kuch galat hai in your process of of learning there's something wrong you are you are not uh, you are not being intelligent and you are you are preparing like a, you know that that fly in the car He, uh, when 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 there's a fly stuck in the car, it will go and bang its head against the uh, against the windshield hundreds of times. While there's the open window, it will not go out of the window. So you're doing the same stupid activity due to which you are not able to cross over, right? So it's about या तो variable नहीं पहचान पा रहे हो, variable पे control नहीं कर पा रहे हो, तो di set नहीं solve होता है. Clues को control नहीं कर पा रहे हो, clues का usage नहीं कर पा रहे हो, clues का storage नहीं कर पा रहे हो, तो lr set solve नहीं होता. right so this is uh, uh this is the 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 logic uh, that you need to look at right yeah so so what i mean by uh, this thing so so what what is the level currently matlab how many sets do you know so one of the one of the factors that will go ahead to improve your, uh, your dilr lr score is uh, one of the things that that will go ahead and improve your dilr score is going to be the, the transition to the point where i knew only two sets out of five this is this is a very important point where where you where you get to that that confidence that i will know all the sets that will be given in the paper i'll be able to solve them eventually wahan kar paungi nahi wo nahi chahiye mereko lekin mereko wo confidence hona chahiye why this is important is because when you pick up a if you if you are let's say 2 3 out of 5 if you are 2 3 out of 5 and not don't know 2 2 out of 5 so when you pick up a set inside the exam you'll always have a huge question mark in your head it does this set belong to that category my known category or does it belong to my unknown category or ye क्वेश्चन मार्क जैसे जैसे प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट होगा पेपर में वो क्वेश्चन मार्क बड़ा होता जाएगा एंड इफ द सेट क्रिएट्स अ प्रॉब्लम थोड़ा सा भी ट्विस्ट टर्न आया तुम्हारे जानने वाले क्वेश्चंस भी तुमको लगने लगे दे यू विल स्टार्ट फीलिंग दैट दे बिलोंग टू दिस पार्ट सो इसलिए गेटिंग टू दिस इज इज दिस थिंग इज इज इंपेरेटिव ये तो करना मतलब यू हैव टू रीच दैट पॉइंट यू हैव टू दिस थिंग एंड एंड If you are close to this point, if you are reached that point, that I, I have got the idea, I have done it, and and this for you, as I said, the the self problem solving is is what does it for you. So at any point of time, if you pick up 50 more sets, keep keep thinking like this. देखो 50 sets di, I have to di improve करना है. 50 sets में उठा लेता हूँ अच्छे quality के. You can take it from my book. You can take it from mock test. दो दो ही तीन source रखो. You can either take my books if you have not solved them. one source is that second source is previous year questions and third set source is mock questions ye teen set source rakho 50 set jo uthane hain tumko to 50 set utha ke agar main solve karta hu di mere ko di improve karna hai i want more score in di right and also distinguish this 2 out of 5 or 5 out of 5 jo hai usko distinguish karo ki maybe in lr you are you are 2 out of 2 in di you are at 1 out of 3 known so this this is then then what you need to work on not this do a distinguishing uh, structure between data and prediction and logical reasoning so that you you have a, a distinction between the two which one you need to target more 
right? Because in a hundred day uh, context, it might become important to decide which one you're working on. So when I pick up 50 sets from here, and I and I, I, I mean, how much time? If I if I really go after it, it could be a matter of three or four days. 50 sets. के पीछे मैं लग जाऊँ तो चार दिन में हो जाएगा मेरे से. तो आज मेरा जो skill है, चार दिन बाद मेरा DI skill सुधर जाएगा अगर मैं इतना कर लेता हूँ तो. So any time I pick up 50 by 50 sets, and if I feel I need more to get to get to that confidence, मेरे को सब आता है. तो you have the solution for yourself every time. Pick up 50 sets more, and and do it four times. I mean, in a hundred day context, ठीक है. Forget. Suppose you you do it uh, once every week that you're picking up BI or LR. So in the next ten weeks, तुम दस बार तो इस 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 solution को implement कर सकते हो. In the next ten weeks, and every time there'll be a jump up. Whenever you sit in, I mean, whoever does it, even me at my level, I got 100 percentile in DI in 2018. Cat. At my level, if I if I sit and solve 50 sets today, somebody give me these 50 sets or I source these 50 sets from a good source, and I sit and solve, four days later, my solving skills will improve. My speed will improve. My basic reactions will improve. It will happen. It has to happen. So please do that. Please use this for that. Right. So that's uh, one part of this. Uh, one one solution for this for DIR. And of course, then uh, uh, for those of you who know or who have already reached that point, that I mean, mostly aata hai. Kabi kabi four out of five aata hai. But generally, I know all the sets. If you already reached that and you are doing, let's say, two or three, and not able to do the fourth one, which you know, if you get, if you had got time, you could have done it. Then the focus shifts to speed. So speed ka do do sources hoga DILR me. Ek hoga faster solving. Or, or speeding up on the solving of what you do. And speeding up ka main, main sources, the biggest source of speeding up in DILR is reading a set only once. Catching it in one reading, catching everything in one reading. And to do that, each sentence, you have to slow down your reading so that you don't miss out something. Otherwise, what happens is a lot of you, what you do is you read faster. And because of that, you have to come back to the sentence. So the moment you come back to the sentence, suppose I read a little bit slower. So my reading time three minutes ke badle, three minutes forty five seconds. But what it does is it eliminates my second reading. And my second reading, if I read fast and I do my first reading in three minutes and I need a second reading. So it'll add at least two to two and a half minutes. And, and the problem is that it will not end with the second reading because if I've read very fast, the question setter has told me things that, that I've not taken in. So I might read, need to keep coming back again and again and again. So ultimately what will happen is I'm reading seven, eight minutes. Uh, I'm reading the, the test, the paper, or uh, the question for seven, eight minutes where I should be reading it only for three and a half minutes. So slow down your reading so that you catch up. And the other, other problem is the second reading when your first reading is the only reading in which you go through all the sentences and all the clues. Second reading, when you come back to the second reading, you might read this clue and then you might read this because you don't, you don't have the time to read the whole set again. The problem uh, that happens is that the, the picture that you get in the first reading, you don't get in the second reading. So you don't get that much control that you should have. And that's why you miss out on, on basic clues. You must be seeing this these things during the test. I hope, I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Is this happening or not? In your, in your DINLR, a clue I did not see or I did not uh, focus on this clue in the inside the test. question. So that's happening because you're not you're not picking up uh, in the, in your first clue, first reading. So improve the quality of your first reading. Slow down your first reading so that you end up reading less, uh, reading taking less time to read. Right. So this is uh, very very critical. I I've seen it myself. There are times when I have got stuck inside the cat in in DILR questions, and when I when I tried to re uh, structure, re understand it, ki kya hua tha, why, why was I stuck in that question? I realized that uh, the basic problem was that I had not 
read the uh, my first reading had been uh, had been uh, had been sloppy right so your your biggest source of speed is reading once your second source of speed is the second source of speed is is to to make sure that uh, uh, that that you are writing less the third source of speed in di is calculating faster and the fourth source of speed is tricks and techniques etc and efficient improve improved efficiency on what you are doing so these are the four sources of uh, source of speed that you have uh, which will which will add up. and 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 speed ka basic philosophy is ek philosophy ho jata hai dusra philosophy ho jata hai kabhi kabhi kya hota hai cat mein bhi dekhoge you will see that there are some questions which are very very simple you look at look at uh, last year's cat look at 2019 cat you'll find a couple of sets which are very simple so in those sets you should be able to blitz so there have to you have to find uh, or you have to create the the ability to get over those sets in 5 minutes 6 minutes un set mein 10 minute laga doge to then you have lost it because your computers will blitz those those questions 6 minutes so blitz solving ability has to be there so if you uh, calculation entry uh, improvement mustan will always start with additions and if your additions are good all of the calculations are uh, this thing there is a uh, there is a course i put on calculations on my on the youtube channel arun sharma academy you can go and watch it on that right so this is what uh, you need to do for di that's the this thing and and just make sure that you you uh, as the doctor orders in terms of how many uh, questions you need to do how many times you need to pick up 50 questions initially agar agar abhi ye point hai ki do hi set aate hain to 50 set mat uthao 150 set uthao usko solve karo take pick up 150 good quality sets and solve them di may first focus on 100 traditional di sets that at least traditional di jab tak strong nahi hoga tab tak logical di theek nahi hoga right any questions so qa ka baat kar lete hain hum log last 5 7 minutes we got let me just talk about qa and i also wanted to show you this uh, small promotion we have this is the arun sharma cat challenge this is my personally curated test series uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, includes 25 full length mock tests uh, 18 sectional mocks on all three sections uh, total six each and uh, four mini cats and we also have the cat scan methodology to gauge your uh, to help you gauge your uh, structured performance but cat scan ab bahut valuable nahi hai because cat scan is more valuable during your uh, first 3 uh, 4 months of preparation pre june because uh, ab ab tumhara uh, sectional or full length moxi matter karega and we got a special independence day discount 15% 15 uh, ind 15 use karke you get a 4000 rupee discount on the price so 3299 is the current price uh, going for this so those of you who are not uh, enrolled for this you can so quants mein again uh, you you first have to assess what is your base baseline this is your baseline are you are you, uh, are you somebody who is who is getting uh, let's say 10 plus marks 20 plus marks 30 plus marks 40 plus marks 50 plus marks where are you a b c d and based on abcd based on abcd where do you want to go so most people here are in that range so the underlying construct of 10 marks is basically you are able to you are solving something like uh, there are two two constructs you are solving five six questions getting four plus right is one construct of getting 20 marks the other construct of getting 20 marks is you solve 10 marks is you solving 15 questions and you getting seven right and you getting eight wrong so this is the other construct of getting 20, 10 plus marks right and uh, similarly 20 plus marks may thoda add ho jayega you are doing 8 9 and 7 correct or you are doing 8 9 10 and 7 8 correct 
this is one structure to get 20 plus and the other structure to get 20 plus is that you're doing around around 20 questions and getting 10 correct 10 wrong obviously if you belong to this you're guessing a lot but fonts may uh, unless you get an answer uh, you should not mark the question and uh, if you're if you're if you're 50 50 uh, 50, 50 i mean if you mark the you'll still be 25 percent correct by default right at least in the option based questions so if you are at 50 percent that means you are you're really not solving but you are just guessing a lot right so so uh, the first assessment in fonts is out of 26 questions what is my knowledge level or sath mein fonts mein of course you can you can also correlate with your portion coverage you can also correlate with the portion coverage what correlation do you do with your portion coverage portion coverage mein correlation here rakho ki block 2 3 block 1 block 4 block 5 and block 6 you can convince blocks that tumhara first round khatam ho gaya So, I mean, the first, I mean, of course, the first tool to, to raise your point score is to complete your round ones on each of these areas. If okay, round one is missing, if you don't have complete, so make sure that you complete the round ones. So, if, if you're getting a score of whatever score you're getting, without having done round one, let's say on two blocks or three blocks, and done only one, two, three, so that's good news because the moment you do this, your score will improve. The whole challenge is in these 100 days, the whole challenge is what work should I do so that my, my test score improves. So if you have not done uh, block four, five, six at all, and only done the arithmetic part in the number systems part, and you are left with three blocks or two blocks to complete. So that's straight great good news because when you, when you complete that, for example, if you have not done algebra, so in every paper or you're not solving a paper out of 26 marks questions you're solving a paper out of maybe 20 questions because five six questions algebra to aaye to tum agar 12 attempt with uh, 12 attempt with eight correct kar rahe ho and that's why you're getting a 20 plus score because of that structure so you're doing it out of 20 or 20 questions so the moment you start solving the paper out of 26 questions because you've covered everything your uh, number of attempts will automatically go up to 15 and this will automatically go up to 10 10 11 and when that happens you automatically shift from 20 plus to 30 plus you shift automatically over there and then what is very important in quants is round two with the same questions so it's make some questions you would have solved and some questions you might have left or you might have read the solutions of so round two karna bahut zaruri because what happens in round two is the the reactions start getting formed up and if required you do a round three on the same questions of course in round two and round three you don't take as much time as you took in round one right so just the area where tumhara score nahi aa raha you 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 will have a feeling about this in your mocks ki kaun se area ke karan mera score phasa hua hai i'm not able to solve the solve the paper because or i'm not get, able to get marks because geometry jab aata hai to mera question nahi banta hai to i get stuck so just just make sure that you add uh, do a round two round three and and uh, there are two basic tools uh, one is to redo the questions you have done in round one in, in round two round three there are two basic tools one is the redoing part and the second second tool is to is to add questions to so add questions tab karoge jab tumko i mean when you when you try to see ki 26 question mein mereko kitne aate so let's say you are in a situation where you are 12 attempt 8 correct 4 incorrect but when you look at without time limits in the 26 questions you see that you know 22 plus so as a pattern agar hai 22 plus you know but you're only able to attempt 12 so then adding questions is not the what the doctor the doctor orders because question add karne se tumko aur knowledge all knowledge ki zarurat nahi hai tumko aata hai you need to make sure that you convert so for that redoing and and focusing on on the same question banks which you have done that have got you to a point where you know 22 questions is going to be important so at least you convert those but agar, agar to my knowledge i mean if you have that so if you have that case where you know only 15 questions out of 26 
and out of them you are able to attempt 12 and get eight correct i'm i'm take, talking about the same pattern 12 attempt eight correct but when you look at how many questions you knew without time limit it's only 15 so then you need to add questions in specific areas you need to understand which area you need to add questions on which area your knowledge is deficient so you get a question you don't come to which area can go check karo us area pe questions add karo jaake and the the formula for adding questions and cons is very simple it's very straight the formula for adding questions and cons is is very simple and straight the formula is on a block if you identify that you need more questions on a block on a block the formula is 200 questions if it's a chapter you identify the function chapter you identify the equations chapter you identify the geometry chapters the formula is 100 questions this is about how many questions you need to add in case you feel that you're deficient in your ability to solve questions right so uh, and that's uh, the thing and on a concept you have a problem on a concept add 25 to 50 questions sometimes if, if it's a small concept you just add 10 questions it's a clocks me tumko dikkat ho raha add 10 questions that's it you'll, you'll sort it sort it out so this is how it has to be very targeted work work now Chalo, so that's it uh, uh, yeah by knowing a question you i mean you're able to solve that on your own uh if there's not if there's no time limit so this is muskan ka problem and she's telling me that without time i can solve 15 20 questions but at in exams i can only do 7 to 10 so i think for for muskan the the solution will be to redo whatever she's done because 15 se 20 questions ko agar aate hain to 15 20 questions kyun aate hain because usne kuch kaam kiya hai kuch question banks pe kaam kiya hai jiske through usko 15 se 20 questions aate hain and if that is the general trend in every test and don't don't test this don't don't build this numbers on one test uh, experience five six tests ke baad dekhoge tumhara average kya aa raha hai theek hai previous block se nahi ho raha to ek bar revise kar lo usko uh, how much time will it take to complete block 2 3 1 are you talking about first round shubham or second rounds If it's first round, uh, block two, three, one takes around six, seven weeks minimum. If it's uh, second round, it can be done in two weeks also. So after completion of basics, revision basically means revision of quants, uh, Amruta, means that you are picking up the questions and resolving them. Because you are trying to uh, you are trying to organize your thinking around the triggers in the questions, right? Ritu says, I'm student of mind works. I started my preparation month ago. Due to some health issues, my preparation on and off. Just done two, three topics from each section. Yeah, you can get back on track. If you have not done much in quants, create a focus of four days for one chapter, one coverage. Or in chapter, mein kya hoga? Ki even if you're able to solve 60% questions on your own, 20% questions with solutions, dekh lo, or 20% questions with chodo the second round. Okay. How to keep your mind calm, uh, calm during the paper? Don't don't uh, think about what your scores are. You have to stay in the present to be able to keep your mind calm. If you are trying to, if you start thinking too much about the future, about your test score, etc., while solving, it'll go it'll go haywire. So you have to keep it avoiding it. it takes a lot of practice. Okay, one set of DILR, uh, one set of DI, one set of LR. Normally it takes 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes approximately. VRC without time limit, tomorrow agar passage, uh, Pooja says her passage accuracy is 50-60% without time limit. That means tumko passage nahi samaj mara, understanding issue. DILR, I hope you understand Vasu, DI and LR are not about topics. LR is about puzzles. Some topics you can identify as like games and tournaments, etc. But other than as like like Venn diagram is the topic. Other than that, uh, there's no topics in LR. And DI me to or be koi topic nahi. How many mocks should you take? Your mocks frequency should be one a week now. Your mocks frequency should be one a week now. And uh, you have to plan to take around 30 to 40 mocks total. 
राइट फ्लक्चुएटिंग अगर हो रहा है दैट मींस यू टेकन टू फ्यू टेस्ट्स एज यू कीप टेकिंग मोर टेस्ट्स योर स्कोर विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग दिस थिंग फ्लक्चुएशंस हैपन बिकॉज़ ऑफ योर योर स्कोर फ्लक्चुएट हैपन बिकॉज़ ऑफ योर स्टेट ऑफ माइंड एंड द फैक्ट दैट यू आर नॉट एबल टू मैनेज योर रिएक्शंस अंडर द टाइम लिमिट्स सो सम पिक टेस्ट्स विल गो वेल अदर्स विल गो बैडली सो यू विल गेट गुड स्कोर्स इन सम अदर्स विल नॉट बट एज यू टेक मोर टेस्ट्स दैट विल स्टेबलाइज ठीक है Uh, in resolving, if you are getting stuck, uh, then then you you uh, you you have to remember, or you have to try to solve that question next time, second time also. Time uh, Bindu is asking how to use time efficiently. Time efficiently का कोई logic नहीं होता. Time को तुमको inside out मतलब you you have to make sure that you you complete your targets, work targets. इतना देर पढ़ते हो नहीं पढ़ते हो उससे मेरे को कोई लेना देना नहीं है जो टारगेट है काम का वो खत्म करना है तो डेढ़ सौ सेट उठाया हो पंद्रह दिन में तो पंद्रह दिन में खत्म होना चाहिए तो उसको एक घंटा पर डे में कर लेते हो तो आई एम हैप्पी तो उसको पंद्रह घंटा पर डे लगता है तो आई एम स्टिल हैप्पी द वर्क शुड बी फिनिश्ड क्यू ए सिंगल राउंड एवरी चैप्टर मीन टिपिकली अराउंड ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन वीक्स लगता है फर्स्ट राउंड वन राउंड के लिए दैट्स आयुष क्वेश्चन address your issues uh, how to maintain confidence to uh, sharsha studying for 12 hours a day but stress out for for low marks thoda sa matlab pressure hata apne upar se aur aur focus on what you need to do right and what what will change your score us pe usko identify karke work karo block 1 to 3 agar complete nahi kiya to 1 to 3 lene ke baad blocks karo pratik ठीक है क्यूए में भी सोनल इज आस्किंग हाउ टू इंप्रूव अटेम्प्ट्स इन क्यूए क्यूए का अटेम्प्ट भी इंप्रूव तभी करेगा जब तुम्हारा वन रीडिंग में क्वेश्चन सॉल्व होगा एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग लेस एंड यू स्टार्ट यूजिंग लेस फास्टर कैलकुलेशंस काजल व्हाट अबाउट स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चंस इन इन क्वांट्स द स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चंस आर देयर इन माय बुक दे ऑल देयर यू कैन डू इट फ्रॉम देयर and it is important six chapters uh, if you are wanting to go to 50 plus in points score wise uh, the chapters in which already three are important is uh, averages uh, ratio proportion number systems progressions and functions and, and equations uh, if you just start preparation you can you can you can try to take the uh, take the approach of uh, of uh, taking test once once every 10 days along with that for completing a portion and keep adding more portion so that you keep some pressure on yourself theek hai vrc tips i gave sort of what has to be done algebra mein uh, if you not uh, tushar is asking about algebra if your algebra is poor so you you need to understand that there are repetitive question types in algebra so at least those question types that are repetitive those you should get control of ठीक है ऑल टॉपिक्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स एक्सेप्ट प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री आई थिंक एवरीथिंग एल्स इज इंपॉर्टेंट नो दे आर नॉट मच डिफरेंट मतलब दे विल बी मोर और लेस यूजिंग सिमिलर कांसेप्ट्स टू एलओडी 1 एलओडी 2 एलओडी 3 क्वेश्चंस इस वेबिनार का रिकॉर्डिंग सुप्रीम विल कम ऑन टू द YouTube चैनल ठीक है आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट व्हाट टू डू फॉर रिवीजन इट हैज टू बी Reading the chapters, reading the questions. I am Bangalore. You need a 99 plus, definitely, maybe 99.5. Depends also what background you have. Uh, your marks in November should should taper down. Uh, November marks have has to be maybe five to seven maximum. So most of your work has to get done by uh, uh, by by by. Uh, By October end, box wise. Games and tournaments you can practice from my book. I have got that. How much background Varun uh, Vasu then ninety nine should should uh, give you a chance. FMS also ninety nine plus. Amen. 
best mocks is you can you can use our mocks we have, we have got a good uh, decent uh, mock series with us i showed you the this thing i really cannot comment about other mocks because i don't uh, i don't i don't look at them chalo so i think i have answered most of the questions in rc do we read questions first not really it doesn't help much unless it's a very detailed based quest passage and detailed based questions then you can do that but if it's idea based questions uh, it's it's not going to be helping you much a typical topic will take you 10 to 10 to 15 hours in points first first round ke liye uh kavya uh, says i've been studying a lot but not scored above 60 maybe you need to change your approach be a little bit smarter about what's uh, find out what's blocking your score and if you can find out what's blocking your score you can you'll immediately uh, raise your score so it's not going to be a, cad is not about uh, your score in cad is not proportional to your hard work you need to work hard but it's not proportional to it hard work plus smart work is what is required in cad so smart work ka matlab wohi hota hai if you have to define smart work it is about ki main kya karunga taaki mera score badh jaye yeah chalo so i think most questions i have uh, uh, answered time requirement for block 4 to block block 6 block 6 time requirement is uh, i think maximum 10 15 hours uh, first round and block 4 ka time requirement is maybe 30 to 40 hours chavan logical data interpretation is very important chhu clear karne ke liye points 20 25 ka score hai aapka 10 hours ki video kaun se kis mein geometry mein shravan i'm talking about your self study time that's apart from the uh, from the theory studying etc जॉर्जी में और भी आने वाला है मेरा वीडियोस कोर्स में श्रवन यू यू एंड द माइंड वर्क्स दिस थिंग अच्छा बीएनसी में भी हाँ तो उसको मतलब मोरलेस वो दस घंटे का वीडियोस अगर देखते हो और प्रोबेबिलिटी उतना करने की जरूरत नहीं है इसमें फोकस ऑन द पीएनसी पार्ट एंड जस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्कस आर सिमिलर टू वॉट दे आस्क यू इन द इन द एग्जाम्स सो मोस्ट ऑफ इट शुड गेट कवर थ्रू दैट एंड देन जस्ट डू द एलओडी वन टू आफ्टर दैट यू डन सो फाइव आज मोर And then ask the video, which is also two x per day, one point five x per day. You can finish in seven eight hours. Chalo, so we'll stop here. How many questions should we attempt in each each section? Depends on your objectives, uh, Kajal. Uh, if your objective is to get hundred marks, you need to be able to attempt. Uh, you need to get around thirty five marks on average. So if your verbal target is 40 and quant target is 40 and di target is 30, so for a 40 marks, this thing you need to attempt around 20. I'm assuming 15, 10 to 15 percent errors, two three errors will be. So 20 attempts as per required for quants and 20 for verbal and di error, my 12, 13 attempts should be good. So around 50 attempts should be good in in 120 minutes. Already three just focus on the sixth chapter, Adira. The six chapters for LOD three are averages, ratio proportion, number systems, progressions, and uh, functions and equations. ये छह chapters के LOD three करना चाहिए if you are looking at fifty plus score. Fine. Thank you so much. Bye bye everybody. Uh, I'll see you soon. And this video will be available on the uh, Arun Sharma Mindwork channel and the Arun Sharma Academy channel both.
so you can watch them uh, anywhere and those of you who are looking for calculations i've done a course in hindi on calculations in uh, in uh, on darun sharma academy so you can watch that from there chalo and this is the acc this special offer uh, which is there and uh, um, all the best everybody bye bye good luck work hard give it your best shot except the fact that you might not do well at cat but you will still have a way to get back from there theek hai i have mentioned that vasu 100 marks is required for 99 percentile chalo bye bye thank you thanks kagil thanks everybody else bye bye